HDMI, no sound in Windows 10. Connecting your device via, whether you're using a TV, a display monitor, what have you. Bottom line is, you got to come over to the settings tab, hit settings, go to system, display, sound, notification, power. Yours may say something different. It gets weird with Windows 10. <laughs> you tap that. You go to sounds, pop. Once you're in sounds, you choose your output. Most people will have real tech, high definition, yada, yada, right? You press on it, if you see it there, and you make sure that you have the right devices in output, input, and so forth, right? Mainly you want HDMI output to be correct. You pick your speakers, you come down here, pop. And you tap on troubleshoot. Pop. You tap on it. The only reason I am not tapping on it is because it switches my whole audio. And anyway, look. I'm going to just stop it real quick. Pop. So it takes you. Yours is going to straight troubleshoot it. I'm using other stuff. I'm using uh, USB, Kodak, so forth. But if not. You come over here on the side and you'll find other audio troubleshooting uh, from Windows 10 that'll help you with your problem. And it'll update your audio, yada, 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 and it'll help you out. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do this, and I know practically all of them. I've been through it all with the audio for years. <laughs> This is just one of the faster ways. And normally, if everything is set fine, this will work for you. Bop! But let me know if it didn't work for you or if it did. Once you found sound settings and came down, pop, and hit troubleshooting. Or were you able just to change it in here and figure it out? And if you need any further help and that didn't work, <laughs> trust me, plan B got you. This was just a quick troubleshooting. A lot of people don't know how to get to troubleshooting. To fix the HDMI. And this is how you troubleshoot your audio issues on your device.